Hello everybody, it's Richard Cespedes and uh, I'm here with the uh, idea of artificial intelligence which is basically uh, the holy grail of uh, robotics for humanoids and androids or what have you and uh, uh, this is just basically my opinion on how we could achieve something like that if uh, and I know there's movies and there's books upon books and there's sci-fi science fiction that that's becoming fact or whatever um, there's just so much in the internet and in people just having their own theories and scientists that are in the field of, math, uh, of mathematics and robotics they have their own theories of how to achieve artificial intelligence but this is my opinion on how to achieve artificial intelligence the holy grail of robotics self-conscious self-thinking self-perpetuating android humanoid robot just like a human being you know um, uh, first thing it needs to have needs to be selfish the robot needs to be self-perpetuating needs to have selfishness uh, how to achieve selfishness how do we achieve uh, uh, exploration of the, of the Android how do we achieve uh, con trying to connect to people you know because human beings were born with an innate instinct something that drives us to mate something that drives us to explore something that drives us that pushes us to to find and do and just exist and live and um, robots need to have a program you know because basically we're programmed human beings are programmed to do these things by nature to drive us to do and exist and, and live and uh, and robotics we need to we need to basically program the robots to have these innate instinct type of instinct program uh, uh, built in within them you know to kind of drive them to go and do you know but it's not that simple um, the thing is though is that uh, this is my theory on how we could create uh, artificial intelligence for robotics and that can lead to real humanistic independent individual thought processes of an android robot humanoid and uh, opinions from an, uh, creating its own opinion and everything okay now this is just a little story that I kind of put together uh, imagine there was a robot that was programmed to open every door that it saw okay. it continues on one day until it realizes what is the point what is the meaning the program now this is it the program should be constructed loosely the program in time should fall apart the program uh, that tells that tells the robot to open every door um, for a period of time or whatever that tells the robot to open every door that it sees slowly deteriorates and falls apart the program falls apart so that in time can fall apart but can subconsciously be recreated by the robots experiences and its and its, its, its and its existence that the program can fall apart but over time can be reconstructed recreated rebuilt as a whole anew through the robotics experiences and its existence that would then lead to the thought of what is the point what is the meaning over time HC now see uh, before I continue on what I'm trying to say is that the, the there should be a built program a computer program that tells a robot okay every door that you see you have to open you have to rotate the door now and open the door every door you see you have to open this program tells the robot to do this but over time the program deteriorates so that so that um, 
It can be reconstructed by the robot. And so that the robot can rebuild subconsciously, not consciously, but subconsciously rebuilds this broken down program, rebuild it, uh, rebuild it anew so that it can create its own its own way of what it should do creating its own program of what drives it creating its own way of what it feels it should be programmed to do as human beings you know we're programmed to do certain things but over time we defy our instincts and we try to reinvent ourselves we're, we're, we're programmed to do things to mate we're programmed to to do things but as human beings we want to challenge what is what is built in us to create a new way of thinking and feeling and the only way for a robot to be able to do that is for a set program that's built in the robot to be to to be deliberately to deliberately fall apart over time to deteriorate and for the program to be rebuilt subconsciously by subconsciously by the robots by its experiences the rebuilding of the program is dictated by the experiences of the robots existence and that new rebuilt program is what will drive the true meaning and what will drive the robot to find meaning in its life that's what human beings do we subconsciously create new reprogrammed ways of thinking in our minds that drives us to want to explore and create and feel and see new things and that's what we need to do something similar to that but there's also something else let me see okay so let's what now this is now there's now here's another uh, idea let let's say that um, for instance besides the uh, the program deteriorating and the robot subconsciously creating recreating this deteriorated rebuilding this deterioro deteriorated program to a whole new program to find meaning in its life let's say that there was a program backed up by a program